hi. Um, I, hi. It's been a while, like a month, cause I suck. So, yeah, I have a lot of energy, and I'm not entirely sure why, considering I'm not doing anything tonight. At all. I'm probably gonna go to bed early. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just play video games forever. Um, I, uh, yes, energy. I want to make mu- I want to have music playing right now, but, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I have an idea. Uh, this is... Ooh, that's a little too loud. Oh, ah! Ah, uh, there's bad things happening! Oh! I have this speaker that I bought recently. It's Bluetooth, and it's wireless, and it's got two speakers, and it's got a bass thing, and it's is really good. I paid, like, $80 for it, and I still haven't... Like, I used my credit card, and I still haven't actually paid for it, because that's a lot of money, and I shouldn't have paid... I shouldn't have bought this, but I don't regret it. So... Um... This is... Yeah. Um... I'm gonna turn this down... I, I'm assuming I'm louder than it, even on the speakers. Can, I'd still like it to be heard, though. I think the, okay, my speaker's up there, right where the camera is. Yeah, right. Okay, so, okay, okay, so, so, what to talk about? It's been a while. So I could catch you up on things. I'll just talk about things I remember about your thing. Mark, I really enjoyed the uh, Pencil Crayon Killers video thing that you posted. I liked when you were, like, playing music and just talking, and it was just really kind of chill and interesting. I don't know. I liked it. I don't remember exactly what I liked about it, but it was I really liked it. Um, and you, like, just started singing randomly, and you had the Billy the Kid card thing. Yes. There's... Okay, um, uh, your Megan song was great, and your Fight Club recommendation was great. I love Fight Club. Fight Club, I got Fight Club right here. I'm just gonna pull it out for no actual reason, because it's not like I have to prove that I own Fight Club in any way, because I'm sure you guys believe me, but here's, here's Fight Club, because I bought this at, uh, uh, Walmart one time. It was like ten bucks. It's like a Blu-ray of Fight Club in this, like, with this, uh, really cool case that opens up, and it was, like, ten bucks! I remember just being, like, blown away, because I'm like, what the, what? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, uh, Melanie, uh, you talked about the Rainbow Unicorn game thing that I can't remember what it's called. I've played it before, uh, only briefly, though, so maybe I should play it more, because you said I should. Yep, um, Megan, you talked about our previous four minute time limit when we started this whole channel, us, us originals, us, us Concordial Collab hipsters, I was with this channel before it was said, these people, um, uh, and yes, um, cause I remember editing videos back then, when I edited videos, it wasn't just direct upload to YouTube from my webcam, um, I remember uh, speeding a lot of my video up. I would take clips and just, like, speed them up so much so that we, they would condense down and I would fit the time limit. And I would spend hours finding the right parts, and, oh, it was horrible. And I'm so glad I don't have to worry about it. Ah! Um, I also wish I could travel more. You said you were talking about how Asi is able to travel. Um, I also want to be able to do that, and that would be cool if I did that with my school and shit. That would be crazy, and cool, and whatever. But, alas, poor Yorick, um, it's not a possibility all the time. I have gone to VidCon two years, and I'm not able to go this year. I'm not able to go to, to Anaheim uh, this year for VidCon and Disneyland, which is always so much fun, but unfortunately, no, 
uh, because I'm in the show that is doing... Uh, do they have Fringe Festival in European places? The Fringe Festival? I know they've got it in the States. It's a festival that uh, is organized in different cities where a bunch of theater stuff happens. It's I don't want to explain it all, but it's a theater festival that happens in various different cities. And I'm in a show that is in the fringe in my city, the fringe in a nearby city, in, uh, um, and it's also in... Okay, this is... I, I normally don't say my city, but it's hard to explain. It's in Regina... And, um, it's in Saskatoon, which is a city three hours a away, in Saskatchewan, in the middle of Canada, and then it's also in Vancouver, British Columbia, which is on the other side of Canada, and it's much bigger fringe, and it's a big fringe, and it's crazy, and, um, so I... Uh, the uh, VidCon is at the same time as the Saskatoon Fringe, so I need to skip VidCon in order to go to the Vancouver Fringe, which is good thing for me for experience and career building and all of that good stuff. Um, for acting! Yeah! The show I'm in, it's called Turn of the Screw, and it's I'm excited for it. Yeah! Yeah! Everyone was really apologetic in videos after my last video, pretty much being like, Oh, Adam... I'm uh, I'm sorry that you weren't included in the thing. We didn't mean that. We didn't mean to not include you. You were all very apologetic, and I appreciate that. And it was very funny, because obviously I'm not actually offended by not being included in your telekinesis. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Um, so things I've done recently... Um, well, I've just been working for the past week because money and school's done. School finished recently-ish. Music just cut out, and I don't know why, but I'm not going to check, because I'm talking! Um, um, energy. Uh, brains, though. Brains. I need my brains for me to talk. Um, and they're not coming to me. Where was I? I'm, uh, school has been over for a little bit now, for me, I had finals, and I had a bunch of final assignments, and I had a whole week, like two weeks ago, of just uh, finishing assignments and shit, and it was, yes, um, and uh, I ended up doing really, really well in my primary acting class, which I'm very happy with. I also put on that show that I discussed a little while ago, Brad and Lou, um, it was, it's a one-act play that I wrote and produced and had a small role in, um, and I was very, very proud of it. Uh, the first night sucked a lot. It was uh, horrible, and um, we just weren't used to an audience, and all of our energy dropped. But after that, we were fucking awesome, and I was really proud of it, and yes, and it was so good, and I want... I have it recorded, so I may put it up on, like, a private setting of some kind, so maybe you guys can see it, and my cast can see it, um, uh, but, um, like, you type, pe you type people, like, people not on the general internet, because I might turn it into a web series, or a short film, which might be cool, um, because I have camera that is good, that I have not been using at all, because busy, anyways, um, what else, what else, uh, you know I have a fake tooth? This one? I it used to be a retainer. This week I got, uh, it, a permanent thing put in. So now it's permanently in there. Can't come out anymore, uh, because they put basically a wood screw into my skull and then screwed a tooth into it. Yep, it was crazy. Um, I, uh, I volunteered with the police recently. They gave me a character. Um, this was just, like, uh, uh, work to build my acting and whatnot, but, um, they gave me a character as part of this overall thing, and I was, and they, uh, and I basically worked on this character, and then they interrogated me in order to train police officers in, um, interrogation and finding out, uh, uh, and piecing together information and shit, um, and there was actually a point where I was, like, starting to cry as I confessed um, uh, helping with a murder by accident. This character had done that. Um, and I was, like, starting to cry, and I was talking about what happened. And then this dude walked into the room 
um, and was like, uh, was like, okay, and he he basically was like, okay, uh, simulation over or whatever, and everyone was like, all right, and I just I went from like crying to just like, okay, cool, we're done, and it was weird and like method. And I don't like method acting, but it was it was kind of like I don't know interesting in this weird method way um, uh, and that I was just like in this character and crying, and then he just like called it off, and then I was out and I was back to Adam. I was like that was really cool and interesting. Yes, so that was me talking. It, uh, recommendation. Oh, oh, there's this um, podcast. I don't know. May, did I talk about it in the last video already? Maybe. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to recommend it again, then, because it's really good. It's this podcast called The Chapter Titles Were So Good. If you go to thechaptertitleswerosogood.com, um, uh, it's, it's this podcast of these three guys, um, uh, Mr. Tom, Regular Tom, and the Peter, um, and they are going once a week. They, they have a, a new podcast every Sunday. And every week, they um, discuss a chapter from the Harry Potter books. They're going through the entire Harry Potter series, chapter by chapter, and discussing each one. Uh, they're on book four right now, and it is so funny and interesting the way they discuss these chapters and come up with these insane theories about characters and make fun of stupid things but in a playful way because they love the series and um it's it's just really really good podcasting and it's very funny and very interesting this like chapter by chapter discussion um, I've gone through and watched all of them, uh, over the past, I don't even know how long, um, uh, I've only found them, I don't even remember when I found them, I, I don't even know, oh, no, it was two weeks ago, while I was finishing, while I was doing all of those fucking assignments, I needed something to listen to while I was doing all those assignments, and I went through and listened to all of them. That's when. So, I wouldn't have recommended this yet. So, that's a thing. Listen to them, because they're good. Ma you know, maybe you just want to listen to the most recent one or something. I can't even remember what that one was. It was on Sunday. Uh, I don't know. They'll, they're all good. Um, no, wait! If you go back, there's a best of, of uh, book one, book two, and book three. They've got a best of each of those that are, are quite good. Those are like an hour long, though. I don't want you to necessarily have to go through all... Forget it. It's... Go... Uh, that, it's good podcast. Good podcast if you've read the Harry Potter books. Don't... I can't remember if all of you have read the Harry Potter books. If you haven't read the Harry Potter books, don't listen to the podcast, because it won't make any goddamn sense. Um, and there's lots of spoilers, um, because they're just candidly whatever. But it's good Melanie, I will, um, uh, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. I just... Oh, energy!